Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the Cardano Daedalus wallet if you're having some issues. So let's get started. All right, so I just wanted to put out a quick video on troubleshooting Daedalus wallet. I've had this issue and I poked around a little bit and saw that there are other people having the exact same issue. So let me just quickly uh, point out what's going on with my wallet. Um, I used to have my Daedalus wallet paired to my uh, Ledger Nano X and uh, it was doing fine and then I launched it again and uh, as soon as it got done syncing to the Cardano blockchain, I got this screen which basically shows no wallets at all. And I figured it was a hardware issue that it had somehow lost the connection to my hardware device. So I tried to repair, right? And it gives me the normal message on my device that asks me to sync or export my public key. And so I did that. All right, we uh, try to export the public key. We confirm and we get this, an error occurred. All right, and I've tried this numerous times and I'm having an issue with this. So I assumed it was basically an issue with connecting to my device. It was a hardware issue, but apparently it's also happening with standalone wallets. All right, so I, I Googled this issue and as it turns out, uh, someone with a full-blown wallet had the exact same issue. Their wallet basically disappeared when they launched uh, Daedalus. And then when they tried to do a restore from their 24 word recovery phrase, they got that same message that there was an error. So uh, I scrolled down just a bit and someone from IOHK support told them that they need to delete the contents of their state directory, which is what I was about to do to give it a shot myself. So I figured I'd walk you guys through this. It's not that difficult. Uh, you know, uh, first of all, you you want to make sure that you're running the latest version of Daedalus. I'm on uh, 431. So if we go to the Daedalus homepage and go to download, uh, we can see there that's the latest version, 431. So I'm running the latest version. Um, and if you're not running the latest version, then I would uh, advise you to go ahead and run the update. But I believe that Daedalus will ask you to run the update if you launch the wallet. Uh, if it does not, and you can see up here that you're not running 431, something lower, then uh, you can always just go download it from their website directly and run the installer, and it'll do an in-place update. All right. Uh, but if we want to get to that state folder, then uh, we need to go into our, uh, our file explorer in Windows and just go to our local disk, and then we'll go into the users folder and then there should be a folder with your name on it or the, the name of the account that you have set up in Windows. And then there's an app data folder. Notice that mine is a little bit dim. Uh, this indicates that it's normally a hidden folder. So if you don't see it, you can go up here to view and then over to options. And then you'll click on the view tab here and you'll wanna make sure that you have show hidden files, folders and drives ticked off, right? and then you'll be able to see it. Uh, just dive into it and then go into the roaming folder and you'll find a Daedalus mainnet folder in there. Now, uh, the Daedalus mainnet folder has all of your preferences in there. If you're using a paired hardware device, you don't have to worry about your wallet at all because all of the wallet information is stored on your device in the Cardano app. If you have a wallet that's based on a passphrase or a backup phrase, either a 12 word or a 24 word, you'll want to make sure that you have that handy so that you can do this restore. Uh, you're going to need it either way uh, be, if it drops your wallet out of the there. But when you delete this data, you know, make sure that you've got your uh, either your device or your uh, seed phrase for your standalone wallet. All right, so I'm just going to delete this because it's not doing me any good right now. Just delete it completely out of there. Now, uh, it, if you're running the Daedalus wallet, it's not gonna allow this, so go ahead and quit the Daedalus wallet. All right, and once you've quit the Daedalus wallet, you should be able to successfully delete this 
folder. Right, it'll just go into your trash. You can empty your trash. Like I said, there's really no wallet information in there. There is a lot of blockchain data, which you will need to re-download. Uh, but this apparently is part of the issue, the bug. So we want a fresh one, right? So we go ahead and delete that folder and then relaunch. Uh, seriously. Yeah, usually it'll just uh, start again, but it's not. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and download the, the installer. Uh, just go ahead and drop the installer in your downloads folder and run the installer again. All right, we'll just go ahead and uh, double click the installer. Get started here. Let it install the Daedalus wallet for you again. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and run Daedalus. All right, and as far as Daedalus is concerned, it's the first time you've run it, so we'll go ahead and continue. Uh, we'll uh, agree to these terms, and now we're back where we started. Let's hit pair again. All right, and it wants me to export the public key. I'll go ahead and hit both buttons for that, and then a confirm, I'll hit both buttons again. And boom, there it goes, it worked. So, and of course, it's going to take a while to uh, resync to the Cardano blockchain and get your current balance updated. But apparently, there was some sort of bug in the latest version of the Daedalus wallet that was causing this issue. And like I said, just go into that state folder and get it deleted and uh, reinstall Cardano, and you should be okay. At least I was. And then if you attempted to do the restore, with the previous configuration, after you delete your state folder and start over again, uh, you should be able to do a restore with your 12 or 24 word backup phrase as well. All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.